Hey there, it's Mike Dance at Brookside in Austin, Texas. Today I'd like to talk to you about Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams, a popular productivity tool that provides cloud-based chat, meetings, and collaboration. It's a hub for a teamwork within the Microsoft 365 framework, formerly Microsoft Office 365. So it's a cloud-based service that provides instant messaging, audio, web, and video calling, screen sharing, mobility, file and data collaboration, also integrates with the other 365 products and of course replaces Microsoft Skype who's just about to retire. So Microsoft Teams is an entirely new service built for the cloud from the ground up by leveraging Microsoft's Azure data center. So cloud solution. So Microsoft, it's also built on with 365 Group. So it uses the same enterprise level security, compliance and manageability of the rest of the Microsoft Office 365. And it has, it leverages the identity stored in Active Directory. So it's very easy to manage. The number of Teams users has gone from 32 million in March of, of, of 2019 to many as 75 million in April of 2020. That's almost 3.5 million users a month. That's crazy. Look at that guy. So this is what Teams looks like, okay? And so you see it's just real easy to use. You've got your, you know, one of the sections over here is calls though. You got files you can access. You got different Teams going on. You got chat. And so people have used this and you've set up videos like this and you can, and, and actually you can, you know, they have packages where you can place calls or you can look at other solutions like I'm gonna show you that are more reliable and I think more stable for voice communications. So let's talk about Microsoft Teams. It basically, it, 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 the, the root of the history of it goes back to a Mitel product that, that Bill Gates liked uh, that he tried to copy and, and came out with Office Communicator, uh, uh, you know, live communication server, Office Communication server, and then Link, and then it moved to Skype and then Skype for business. And then from there, he tried to look at buying Slack. That didn't work out. So basically he decided to copy them as well. So now Microsoft Teams is being developed 100% by Microsoft. I think it's one of the only products other than Office that they'd actually developed themselves and didn't acquire, especially in this space. So when we look at Microsoft Teams today, in most offices, what we're going to see is, you know, it running over on, on you know, you got a phone on your desk that's to make and receive voice calls outside the company, but for internal voice calls and video meetings and chatting and, you know, everything you're doing with file storage, it's all in the, in the Microsoft Teams. So you're using really two applications. One's a legacy phone hardware solution, or it could be cloud, uh, you know, with either an Abaya or an NEC, Cisco, I mean, it could be a Shortel phone or even a Mitel, you know, uh, any of those legacy phones would work and so you'd have voice over here and then you'd have, but, but internally you would always use Teams. You'd never use the Mitel phone, for example, to call somebody in your own office. Now, some people have already moved to the cloud for using something like a Polycom, you know, uh, or, I mean, you know, there are several, A-Link, these are all SIP phones for Cisco. These are ones that come, you know, uh, your, your ring centrals, you know, things of that nature, uh, the cloud-based voice solutions. So th that's all run independently of it. And so at the end of the day, you, you know, you, you've got everything, you've got the ability to move everything into a single environment by, by using Microsoft and 8x8 with their product. So 8x8 is a global company with all-in-one communications. They have everything from a single login, single interface for business phones, video conferencing, team collaboration, enterprise contact center, including all kinds of analytics, including speech analytics, omni-channel contact center, artificial intelligence, and of course, APIs that go into all the major business software solutions from Salesforce to Microsoft Teams to Zoom, all kinds of APIs that are clicks not code. So they're very easy, just a couple of clicks and you're, you know, this stuff's so easy to integrate now, you won't believe it. It's nothing like the phone business ever really was, especially with 8 by 8 They really got it down. They got a sync. So any, any device anywhere uh, you can use, most people use just software phones, you know, the hardware phones work too. And if you've already got some of those work as well, but it's trusted by more than 1 million business users worldwide, which is a pretty good number. So they have something called 8 by 8 voice for teams. Okay. And it's a secure and reliable solution that provides enterprise voice and all the apps within the team's environment so that, you know, it's an open solution that allows users to connect to use any device. So they can use a Polycom or one of the other ones we talked about, Yaylink or Cisco SIP phone. They can use 8 by 8s work, which is a app desktop, uh, the soft phone in there, it can be web RTC or a mobile client, but mainly there will probably most people might just want to use just teams and stay in teams and do the whole shoot and match. All simply managed through an eight by eight customer portal that lets you do comprehensive analytics on every customer and employee interaction. Think about that every customer and employee interaction. It's amazing. So today's environment, like I said, phones over here, computers over there, one's for external calls, one's for internal calls. With 8x8 eight eight voice for Microsoft Teams integration, you have a single login for voice chat and video. So there's everything right there. They're going to, you know, you add an 8x8 eight eight voice, which is going in the background, 
but there's really no change to the team's user experience. You know, that, that button I showed you a while ago, they're just going to use that for calling and or they can use their desk phone. But they're not going to, you know, it's going to be less expensive to do it this way, obviously. So the, the key to this is how they do it. A-Base is a little different than, well, they're different than anybody else. They've got something uh, where they've got a, a, an integration that does direct routing. So direct routing means that uh, they can connect in the cloud Microsoft Teams, which is where it resides, to 8x8 uh, via cloud to cloud through what's called an SBC on either end. So all you do is add a headset and you can make and receive calls within, with, within Microsoft Teams using 8x8. And there's multiple reasons why this makes sense, okay? But the users actually never really have to leave Teams. They do everything from Teams. So they can choose what, you know, what, since it's a single platform, you know, they can choose how they want to connect. It's very cool. So how does it work? That's the next thing. Eight by eight voice for Teams. How does it work? Well, basically you got Teams running over here doing your video meetings, your file storage, task management, chatting. Then you, you take the direct connect into the eight by eight. Okay, that adds enterprise voice. So now I've got the public telephone network calling into 47 countries. It's crazy. Then I've got a SIP phone if I want to add that too. So that there I am. I've got that running. That's independent of what's going on with Teams. Important, I'll get back to that in a minute. So you've got remote users everywhere using your different apps. You've got call center agents all over, call recording. You've got customer journey analytics. That sounds cool. And then you've got, you know, your SIP phones, your AI speech analytics, everything all there, okay? So that's awesome when it's working. But what about when Teams goes down? There's been all kinds of problems with Teams lately. And, you know, we don't want that to completely affect, affect the whole thing. I mean, it's crazy. What happens when Teams goes down? Well, basically... <laughs> It, it, it's crazy. Uh, you know, video and chat are gone. You know, the rest of the stuff will work. The, the SIP phones, you still be able to make and receive calls and do all that stuff, you know, with the 8 bait stuff. But, you know, it, when it's down, it's down, you know. And so what you can do is you can have the users log in to 8 by 8s work app. Okay, so that app can come up on any of these devices anywhere. And then, boom, next thing you know, your video and chat are up, back up and running. You know, this is your backup plan. So this is the perfect backup solution for Microsoft Teams. Okay, so... When we want video chat back up and running, I mean, it works great. Everybody's back. I mean, you know, and then when Microsoft comes back up, because it's going to come back up. They're not going to let this thing keep going down, but they've had three outages in the last two weeks, and it's like that we're significant, and, and that, that can't help. Uh, so it, it, it basically what 8 by 8 work is, it's an app that provides, you know, the same things pretty much that Teams does to a certain extent. It's easy to download from any of the, the, the app stores, and it does voice, video, team messaging, make and receive calls, join video meetings, chat colleagues anywhere on any device and and like i said if you're using teams it's fine but if you're using the eight by eight work there's really it's very 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 similar to what they're going to use uh, you know so it's not a big transition to go from one to the other you just click a button and you're into a, a different app so it's got native integration so there's no clunky bots or apps or browser extensions that cause issues like there is with some of the other people that have tried to integrate with teams it registers the microsoft teams client just as a sip device as an extension off of the micro, you know, using the session order controller. So it's just an extension off of 8x8. That's all that's going on here. Direct routing just allows the 8x8 software license to be a, in the um, in the 8x8 communications cloud, which has got end-to-end -end encryption and gives you local calling into 38 countries and unlimited calling plans to 47 countries. So local calling means that 38 different countries, we can give you a local number that will come into your solution. And then you can call outbound to 47, which is a lot. It's a simple single slot, just a very easy sign-on portal for automatic mapping of the phones to team users. So it's very, very easy to integrate with teams. So, and then once again, your preference, but users can never leave, you know, can never leave teams thanks to the cloud by cloud native integration with the SBCs. So, you know, once again, there's what teams looks like, you know, you see where the buttons are over there, the calls and all that. Here's what eight by eight work looks like. So, I mean, you know, uh, you know, you see just the same call buttons and, you know, video and, files. I mean, it's all, you know, pictures, you know, nowadays it's real simple to use. So people pick it up and really like how easy it is to use. Okay. So the best thing about a base and all the one communication solution, uh, you know, it's got omni-channel contact center. If you need that, it's got integration into team Salesforce, Zendesk, G suite, NetSuite, pretty much everything. There's a built-in soft phone business SMS, which is great. Um, HD video, omni-channel contact center, extensive reporting and analytics, and CRM integration. These are all great reasons to look at a bay and it's very, very cost effective. Um, I mean, they own the whole network, uh, you know, so everything goes out over their network. It's a 30 year old company. Uh, they've got geo redundant data centers, 
all over the globe. Uh, they got high availability running and they got a service level agreements that have a financial commitment. They deliver a solution that does not have latency, which is great. So, cause they, they just got better technology. Now, if you don't have enough bandwidth, that's where Brookside comes in too, because I can help you find the best deal on, uh, you know, any fiber coax, SD-WAN or any of these other, you know, technologies that we need to take care of the voice side of it or the internet side to make sure that we, they meet all of our business continuity goals, right? So you look at them, they've got data centers all over the world. I mean, this is a very global company, these eight by eight guys. I mean, they're, I mean, that's pretty cool to have 38 countries you can have free calling into. And then, uh, you know, to your numbers, you can get a, a local number in 38 countries and you can call free into 47. That's huge. You know, these are the countries you see, they're all over the world, from South Africa, Norway, Israel, I mean, France, I mean, anywhere you got an office, we can get you a local number for the most part and or be able to call those people. Uh, now, it's easy to configure everything through this. I mean, they've got the easiest portal I've ever seen to use. It's, I mean, I've, I've idiot tested it myself. You know, it's very simple. So you can manage your phone system, your contact center, everything from an 8 by 8 portal. So it works out great. Analytics tells you everything that's going on. There's everything from speech and sentiment analysis to customer behavior, real-time data that, that just helps you make really, you know, easy decisions. You can evaluate and play calls back. And I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing what all it can provide for you, especially when you get into speech analytics and it tells you what's going on with the customer and key, key words and things of that nature. So, but a lot comes with the basics, you know, from extension summaries to you know, unreturned calls to, you know, uh, call quality reports and device status reports and ring group reports. I mean, a, a lot comes with it for, and, and they don't really charge very much for it, to be honest with you. It's a very inexpensive solution. It's per user, a cost per user. So they, they call it X series. There's the licenses for X series is what it's called. They've got an X2, 4, 6, and 8, you know, and you know, you start with the two, it's very basic, you know, but it meets maybe a lot of people's needs for around $24 a month. And you kind of move up a little bit to CRM integration, 44, and then, you know, on into the call center stuff where you get CRM integration and customer engagement analytics, you know, the, all that stuff. And then, you know, you see up there, you get into really advanced call centers. You're looking at under seven. And these are all list price. This is not exactly what it winds up costing you. But as you can see, there's 25 or 45. You see a lot of things that are, you know, in there that you get unlimited calling to 47 countries. I thought it was 48, but no, that's 38, okay. Uh, presence, IM, that business SMS, call recording, paging, faxing, you know, and it's got everything, you know, end to end encrypted, uh, then call details and historical analytics, which are great. Security wise, well, I mean, let's be honest, Microsoft Teams, Azure, Azure, 365, they're all having some issues with security. I mean, Microsoft Teams does not yet have end-to-end -end encryption. You know, I mean, notes are stored in one note and one note, using one note, I mean, encryption. So, I mean, you know, it, it's not exactly the most, you know, when they start listing all the top teams troubleshooting articles and you find, you know, and you see things about hackers get in there, it's not exactly the most secure thing. Uh, you know, and, and when they start telling you Microsoft Teams attack workflows, you know, I mean, I found this on the internet without even looking, you know, I mean, but I mean, uh, you know, whereas you compare it to eBay, which there's end-to-end -end encryption for videos along with everything else, you know, uh, it's a very, very secure and very reliable solution uh, from what I've seen. How, how reliable? Well, <laughs> what does it cost your company to be down? Let's look at how reliable eBay is compared to some of the other people out there. When we start looking at who's down, you know, we, the best way to do it is through Down Detector, which is a website. It's real time. Uh, it tells you exactly what's going on, how many outages they've had, when, and it's just a tremendously huge amount of free information. I highly suggest that you take a look at it when they're having any kind of problems with any of your carriers or providers, right? So we start looking like Office 365. I mean, you know, you look, there's problems all over the place there, you know? I mean, when it's yellow, that's a warning sign. So it, it works off, I believe, the blue, yellow, and red of the three, I believe. But right now, look over, you know, last 24 hours, there's, you know, a lot of problems, you know? Uh, and here, possible problems at Microsoft Teams. Once again, we're in the yellow mode. You see, there's no problems from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m., but, you know, they start about eight in the morning having issues when people log in. Uh, you know, so I mean, Azure, same thing, you know, you start looking at, you know, a lot of spikes in here as far as things going on, problems in the last 24 hours. Zoom is all over the map. You know, you see just a lot of uh, things going on there that are, you know, works fine at four in the morning. Uh, Ring Central, same thing. You've got a few spikes there, you know, where you've got issues and problems coming up. And this, this tells you what's going on with these problems too, and where they're having problems doing it. My tell, you know, I don't know, no problems at my tell, uh, no problems at eight by eight, you know, those two 
seem to really, I think, have this down, I, maybe better than the others. I, that's that's my personal feeling. But now, so anyway, if you still need hardware phones, okay, you still want to look at hardware phones, you know, uh, basically, they, 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 they really do a lot of Polycom. I mean, they have really good promos on these things all the time. Polycom, Cisco, Yealink, those are the three you can purchase or rent. New SIP phones or reuse existing ones if you already have them. That's a big one, too. Uh, the new SIP phones, I mean, they have a promo now. I think the DV250 is around 40 bucks or something like that. It's crazy uh, what they'll do these days just to get you into the, these solutions. It's, it's such a competitive industry. But they got a 350 and a 450. I mean, nothing's expensive on here. Now, they don't sell these because these are expensive. <laughs> these are media phones, but they will support them. They're, they're made for teams. And so they've got displays on them that show you. These are, you know, very expensive phones, and so they're not ones that you see people want to keep every day, so uh, or use. But I mean, when you got a computer, I don't know why you need this, but they have them. Um, for a call center agent, that's another media phone there that works very well with a headset. They also have speaker phones. You know, this is the Trio line, which is the most modern kind. Uh, you know, which is really a, a slick. And then you've got Cisco's got some SIP phones that they sell. You know, that you know, or they can you can buy through uh, eight by eight or provide them yourself, or if you've already got some. And of course, they've got speaker phones for the conference room. Then there's Yealink. You know, they've got really cost-effective, flashy, you know, color screens, and they're probably the least expensive. But you know, at the end of the day, they're pretty high quality from what I've seen. And then they've got good speaker phones for the conference rooms. Polycom, well, anything you got Polycom will work with this 8 by 8 solution. Um, so these older phones that you may have from before, uh, or, or somebody's got some, you know, the, you know, from the days they were on Ring Central or Jobs, you know, or, you know, Spectrum Voice Sofa, you want, any, any of those phones will work on the new solution. So, uh, you know, any of the old sound point SIP phones that they were selling it back in the day, and then the old speaker phones, they all work too, you know, or if you want them, they'll still rent them, you know, brand new ones. So the way this breaks out with the competition, look at a company like Microsoft Teams and Mitel and how they would work together. Well, a lot of them have the same thing. Okay, a lot of the carry, a lot of the, the people out there, the providers, uh, they're they're doing the same thing. Call to Teams is third-party software they can put in that acts as a SIP gateway to allow the 360, 365 and Teams to be able to talk to the Mitel phone system. So uh, whether it be in the cloud or it be on site or be virtualized in their own data center. So it integrates Microsoft Teams into your business apps, and then you can you know. Mitel obviously, you know, provides omni-channel contact. Some of the same things 8 by 8 does. Uh, but, you know, then you've got uh, everything the phone system stays, but there's no disruption to the users, easy to deploy. But this will work with almost anything that will do SIP. So, I mean, this is not very unique. And it's not, it's not what I would call super integrated. But anyway, that's, that's what the competition has. Ta-da! So, Brookside, best path to the cloud for talk, chat, video, and contact centers. That's right. We are. United Flight Communications Specialists. The secure and reliable business communication tools that work on any device, anywhere. Decades of experience with phone systems, call centers, video conferencing, and connectivity. That's right. We free up IT time by taking phone and collaboration responsibilities off their plate. We actually take care of everything from solution design to contracts to implementation. Works out great. There's our website, brooksideus.com. You know, it's kind of cool. We have a spot on there for Microsoft Teams. That's pretty interesting too. So that you can go in there and take a look at some, click on any of these and it goes to more information or a video or YouTube or a link to a, a website that's got multiple ones on everything from, you know, 8 by 8 contact center to analytics, to Salesforce integration, uh, you know, to these are all, these are all, this is Microsoft Teams now, just the Teams stuff. So you know, how it integrates to Zoom, to ISM contact and the talk desk. You know, and then you see how it integrates to Mitel, call to teams, it's just security papers. So we're Brookside. We're in Austin, Texas. Cloud Connectivity Solutions, www.brooksideus.com.